Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and I'm going to show you a faux shaker card today. Um, so I'm taking some of the um, laminator sheets and I'm putting in some chunky glitter and spreading that around. I have seen this done on um, Jennifer McGuire's, uh, she has a YouTube video about this and so does Cassie Trask, she just did it. Um, so I am sprinkling on some fine glitter now and I'm going to press this down and run it through my laminator first through a piece of parchment paper because I wasn't sure if this would ooze all over my laminator machine. I just have a cheap scotch machine, but I still didn't want to ruin it. Um, so I'm going to put these, put this through, and then once it goes through once, I'm going to take it out and put it through separately with just the sheet. I'm not sure if this was necessary. I did it, and I did it for all of the different ones um, that I have done. So this is the only one that I show you. I'll just show you the finished product of the other ones. So this is going to be the chunky glitter and the fine glitter after I run it through one more time. I do like this glitter because if you look at it a certain way, it looks pink, and in another way it looks blue or clear, so it just depends. It's just some, some cheap glitter I got at Walmart. Um, so there's that one, and there it is again. And then this one's just the chunky glitter. This one's just the fine glitter. And then this one, I'll just show you on the background. And then that one is some sparkle embossing powder that I put through. Um, I do like how that turned out. And then I took the Ho Ho um, Deer, um, mm -hmm. yes, sure I did, the dye. And I cut that out of some Sweater Weather um, pattern paper, which is from Brutus Monroe, which I have cut down to a little bit smaller than A2. And I'm just trying to decide which one I wanna go with. I ended up going with just the fine glitter. Then I'm adhering some adhesive on the back, and then I'm going to rip off a set of antlers. Um, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to start over. I don't have, I don't wanna, you know, use all of this Sweater Weather paper. So I decided just to keep plugging along. I adhere um, the panel that I had, I had uh, cut down, which was my laminated piece. I'm going to reattach the antler, and in the end, you would never know that I had done that. I did die cut the eyes out of black, so I'm going to adhere that with some um, art glitter glue, and I'm just going to lay it over and poke it out with my pokey tool, and I honestly thought I had lost them, but I had put down too much glue because I haven't broken down and bought the fine tip applicator yet, but um, I'm also going to add down a red pom-pom so that we will have Rudolph. You could do multiples of this die cut and then put the the shaker background, the faux shaker background um, behind it if you wanted to. I opted to do just one and I felt like it needed something else so I'm going to take my Versamark ink pad, which is filthy by the way, um, and I'm just going to run it around the edge of my panel and then I'm going to dip this into the Alabaster Sparkle Embossing Powder from Brutus Monroe. Um, some of it's a little you know, thicker than I wanted it to but I'm going to get it adhered to all four sides and then I'm going to take a wide dry paintbrush and I am just going to I'm not going to make it a straight line I wanted it to be imperfect and kind of thicker in some places but obviously not as thick as it is right there so I'm just swiping away some of that from all around the four edges and then I'm going to heat set that with my heat tool I opted to wait on putting a sentiment on this card because I figured it could be a birthday card it could be really for anything um for winter time so I'm just going to hang on to it and when I actually need it then I will quickly add a sentiment to it so you could use this for any occasion and I have plenty of Christmas cards put together so I don't need it for that um I also did I didn't show it on camera but I put some foam adhesive on the back and adhered it to a white uh, card base so that is the project for today I hope that you enjoyed it and as always I hope that you have a great day